Hello and welcome to my new Let's Play series of Caves of Cud. Now this is going to be a little different from my weekly challenge that I play every week. This is going to be a, a custom game and there's going to be a couple of things happening in here. One is I've uh, pulled out some of my old Gamma World character sheets from when I used to do the tabletop RPG and I'm going to build one as close as I can to the character sheet here in, in the world of CUD, and two, I'm using this new interface that allows mouse actions, and I'm going to go in here in options and make sure that, that, uh, where is it, disable permadeath, okay. I'm turning off permadeath. This will be the first time I've ever done this in, in the world of CUD. Just so I can see how we can develop this character and how far I can I can take him. Alright, so we've got uh, the new interface. We're using an old Gamma World character as a base, base to work from and permadeath is off. I think I've got everything else set the way I the way I want it here. Um, <clears throat> douse torches. Yeah, we'll, we'll turn that on. But uh, I think my character's not going to need torches here. Okay, so got the mouse here. This is kind of cool, a little weird. Uh, so I've never used this interface before. Okay, so we've got, we've got this here. Let's do a new character, mutated human. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the stats and build up to where this character is on my sheet of paper here. And I believe I'll have quite a few points remaining, so we'll just fill those in as we get to them. So we're just going to do this here. Toughness, we're going to use constitution, intel. Power, I think, uh, was mental strength and ego is going to be charisma, I guess. Sounds good. All right, so we've got 21 points remaining. I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down and fill these in like this. So we've got uh, these are set almost. So, what am I lacking here? Willpower needs a little boost. <clears throat> and Let's go with, where is it? I don't think we can do agility. We can do strength though. All right, so there's our stats. It's gonna give us a nice little starting hit points of 17 here. So the physical mutations, what I've got here is speed and uh, seeing in the dark and some strength and some fire ability here. So we go down here, flaming hand. I like flaming hands. Flaming Hands is good. So let's do that. And Night Vision. That's even better. Ooh, photosynthetic Skin. Regeneration. Okay. What else do we have left here? All right. I've got six points remaining. Did I miss something? So, Heightened Speed. That's it. So that's it. Yeah, two points remaining. Can I do? I, can, I don't think I can do regeneration now. Nope, nope, nope. That's okay. I can do heightened hearing, photosynthetic skin, slime glands. I don't want slime glands. Two-headed. I have an argue, argument with myself and lose. Nope, I don't think so. All right, so we've got, uh, we'll do heightened hearing. Okay, so we got our mutations. And uh, my character here, and his equipment, he's got some melee weapons and a firearm. So let's do, uh, <clears throat> let's do Gunslinger. Plus two agility, steady hands, and weak spotter. That's our starting skills. Plus two hundred reputation with mysterious strangers. All right, the character's name is Rich. Not a whole lot of imagination there, but uh, that's 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 what happened. Okay, so here's our starting character, and we're ready to go. Now, 
let me do this. We're now here in Joppa for the first time. Uh, I'm going to save the character. So let's save. I know that's gonna that's gonna quit. So let's continue. And we'll continue with Rich. Level one mutated human gunslinger. Okay, over here we've got uh, our two. Oh, we've got two Borderlands revolvers. Uh, let's take a look at our character now. So here's what's in his backpack. Basic. Oh, we start out with some bullets, some food, some torches, which we won't need. And what we are wearing, what we are actually carrying with us here. Okay, let's remove the torch, and we don't need to be carrying a bullet around in our hands. So, all right, we've got two Borderlands revolvers and a tunic. Um, bare, bare essentials, but that's that's okay. And our skills, steady hand, weak spotter, excellent. We got a nice little start here. Now, I am going to do the shameful action of looting. I can't help myself. I've got to do it. That's what it's here for. We're trying to survive. Rich needs to survive. Okay. Just ignore me. I'm, I'm wandering around. I don't know what I'm doing here. Nice little. Okay. Zip over to here. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're gonna open this chest. Say yes. And ooh, blood-stained neck ring. Kind of with the blood. And we get. We'll sell it. Neck ring. Okay. Yep, oop, there's a chest in here. Um, let's take everything. I'm so used to selling the copper nuggets as soon as I get them, but I had someone uh, suggest that I hang on to them. I, I've never gotten a character too far in this game, so I, I, I kind of want to see what's happening. Where am I going? I'm wandering around in circles here. Okay, let's uh, talk to Mehmet and get some work. We're going to accept the Red Rock quest. And let's go talk to Argive. This little weird guy's got some stuff for us to do. Oops, sorry. Pushed him out of the way there. And we're going to search for the cave, but we might have something. No, we don't have anything yet for him. I don't think so. Nope. Is there? Oh, we got no artifacts to give. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now we can go see Dromad and get organized with our stuff. So what else do we have here? I need to make sure that we've got some melee weapons going on here. Okay, we're going to auto-equip the little sword. Ooh, honey. That's right. That's we picked up some honey. Awesome. Uh, Bloodstained neck ring. Okay, we're going to sell that. Uh, and the torches. We won't need the torches. Burnt capacitor. Small piece of scrap, which we don't have uh, anything that we can do with that. So let's go talk to this guy. And we're going to stock up on some bullets. Also, arrows. Because uh, uh, I would like to pick up a bow as a backup weapon. That's always good. And what are we doing here? <clears throat> bandages let's take five and the torches we're going to sell burnt capacitor we don't need blood stained neck ring don't need that either we'll carry the water all right how about offering pony up 19 drams yes trade complete okay i think we're set so we can head off to Red Rock. Since I, this is the first time I've not used permadeath, so I, I don't really know how that's gonna work. So I'm gonna try to remember just to save the game every once in a while um, before I get into too much trouble. That's gonna be a challenge. 
Look at that. Too bad our character doesn't have, like, actually have a duster and a hat like that. Not yet, anyway. We can pick one of those up. Okay. Ooh, there's a chest. I'm going to look around here for a second before I get too ingrained into moving. Uh, who's that guy? I think that's a... I think with the mouse we can right-click on something. Well, let's, yep. Okay, so he's tough and neutral. All right. So we'll get that out of the way. Whoa! Didn't want to do that. Man, what, what, stop it! Not used to the mouse. Let's just move up here. Salty water. Is that his chest? He's busy fighting. Do I dare? Let's open it. Uh, ooh, what's that? Counterweighted, two of them, folded carbide, folded carbide short swords. Oh, awesome. A uh, camel bladder. Let's see, vine wafers. Look at the vine wafers. Wow, that, that was a nice little surprise there. So we have food, we've got water, we've got a spare sword, but now we've got uh, counterweighted folded, folded carbide short sword. Awesome. Plus our Borderlands revolvers. It's just like Christmas. Let's move around here just for a second. Head to Red Rock. So used to just beelining it there that. Sometimes I can't remember. I can stop and explore. Because as far as I know, the uh, map is set, but the underground inside areas are procedurally generated. Which is a nice little, little touch there. Okay, we're still moving. I'm looking around here. Is anything dangerous? Okay, I see a crocodile over here. We'll just continue moving. See if he spots us. Boy, there's a lot of a lot of things in the way here. I don't think he sees us yet. Uh, can we go fight him? Need some experience. Where's he at? There he is. I think he spots us now. Yep. All right. Whoa. Nope, we're gonna try to shoot him. Oh, did we get him? No. See, this is his health right here. Perfect. Let's try it again. Uh, oh, you know what we didn't do? Didn't assign our, our mutations and our abilities, so let's do that right now. We have flaming hands, the number one, sprint zero. <clears throat> okay, let's try some flaming hands on this guy. Did we get him? Barely. All right, I wanna move away from him just a little bit because I don't want him to set me on fire. Okay, is he not? I don't think he's burning anymore, so. Oh, we got him. 75 experience, I will take that. Okay. All right, so good use of uh, firearms in addition to mutations. First successful combat, hopefully not the last. Let's continue moving up. All right, we have a dog and a salamander. I think those guys are Neutral, easy, friendly, and this guy should be neutral, right? Neutral. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's we'll just. They look like they're they're fighting each other. I'll just ignore that. Salamanders are gonna kill the dog. Yep, they killed the dog. Uh oh. This guy. That's a salt hopper. Uh, I've been killed more times by salt hoppers than the tough and hostile. And I'm only level one still. Uh, and they're 
fast too. Oh, he's fighting the. Uh, well, he killed the salamander. Is he even injured at all? Uh, oh, he's injured a little bit. That's uh, that tells me that they hit him a little bit. But I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he sees me. All right, I'm a level one, so we're not we're not gonna mess with this guy. Because I know I'm not going to survive. There he is. He's following me. Is he still following me? Yes, he is. Let's try to get him back into town here. And then maybe the guards can... The warden can take care of him. Alright. Wow, he's a persistent. Okay. Gotta still be following me, right? Yep. Jeez. I think he's faster than me, too. I don't know if my sprint still works. Oh, we're out in the open here. Not good. I think this... Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Okay, can we sprint? Yes, we can. We're turning sprint on again. I think we should be... Oh, Jesus. Uh, we're going to go this way. We're in Joppa, and we're trying to lead him over here. Oh, did we... Did he get him? Did he get him? He froze him. Okay, so this guy's a, like a warden. Warden Orag. He's got uh, some really cool ice freezing abilities, and he just froze that salt hopper. Uh, okay, so is he going to go kill him for me? Go kill him. Disintegrate him. Oh, thank God. Do we get some chips out of it? Nope. Don't have the butchering ability, so when we do, then we'll be able to make some salt hopper chips out of that guy. Well, I don't like running that much, but I'm pretty sure I would not have survived that. So we're, again, heading back to Red Rock. And before I get too far, let's save. Just save and, save, uh, save and go. All right, loading game. Yeah, here we go. I'll look, at, I'll look that up if I have to uh, save it occasionally with non-permadeath. But right now, we're just trying to get to Red Rock. Dragonflies. Okay. Can slow down here just a little bit. Oh, oh, oh boy, see? Those things are making, making me nervous. Okay, so we're here at Red Rock. It's night, but we can see in the dark. Okay. I'm going to um, top off my, my revolvers here. <clears throat> Get them fully loaded. Oh yeah? How about some flaming hands? Baboons. I hate baboons. Alright. I hope something... There's another rock. Oh, he's a dirty bugger. Yeah, you run from me. Oop. That's right. Okay, so we've got some stairs down here. We're ready to head to the caves. All right, we're at the first level here. And we're gonna, let me just take a look here. Travel to Red Rock, find the critters that's eating Joppa's water vine, get one of the corpses and return with the corpse. And we, if we find a knickknack, we can give, give it to Argive. Okay, whoa, crap, what the hell? 
Whatever it was, it, did it miss me? Something spitting at me. Is that a seed spitting vine? I want to see it. Okay. What the hell? Okay, we're at 12 hit points, and now I'm getting a little concerned here. There you are. Did we get him? Nope. Got him. Okay. Picked up the arrows, but let's go ahead and grab a short bow. And we'll grab the dagger. This is a backup. What are you carrying? There's a seed spitting bind down there too. Nope, nothing that I really want right there. Nice little, oh, a leather cap and a small box. Oh, we got a knickknack. Okay, what's the small box? Do we examine it? Make some progress understanding the box of crayons. We have a box of crayons. That I'm excited. Okay. So we've got some crayons to give get old give old Argive here. And if I can survive this, I need to get that seed spitter. He's where? Oh, I'm down to 13. Oh, you dirty mother. There you go. Okay. We're almost leveled up also. Let's see if we can rest till healed. Yes, we can. Another one? Flame on. Oh, did we get him? And the musical nuts are dancing around. I think we're, we did. Oh, and there's some scavengers there. But let's take a look at our character. And, okay, we've got 78 skill points to spend if we want. I'm going to save those mutation, that mutation point, but um, what can we add? Sling and run. You receive no accuracy penalties for firing pistols while running. <clears throat> What's the long blades? Yeah, what am I carrying by the way? Okay, I've got a short sword, so is there any skills for short blades? Long blades, short blades, okay, let's grab that. Okay, we're going to take a look at all these here. We'll start with the short blade expertise. Say yes, and we're good to go. All right. So where else are we going to go? Here. Oh, there you are. Oh, one shot, one kill. That's a uh, you dirty, dirty mother. Quit running from me. Get him? No. Okay, you're gonna have to come back around here. There you are. Let's try some uh, some melee. Boom! Folded carbide short sword. Love it. Okay. 25 experience points for him. What's he carrying? Picked up the uh, wooden arrow. A wooden arrow. Automatically. What about you? Lanterned leather cap. I don't know what that is. A utilitarian leather skull cap. This this item provides light. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Let's try this. Where are we at? Equipment head. Let's put on the lantern cap. See how much light that that gives off here. Face nothing. Nope. We're okay. We're all right. Uh, looks like maybe a little bit more. I can't tell. Oh, all right. Um, got him. Iron longsword. All right, there's something there. Let's see, what are we doing?
Ooh, okay, this guy... This guy has a uh, horn on him, horn chameleon. And when, they, when he hits you with the horn, you start to bleed. And you bleed for a while unless you can stop the bleeding. Uh, average hostile, he's he's pretty pretty potent here, so I did get some bandages with me, didn't I? Yep, alright, that's that's important. We have 19 hit points to start out with. Let's see if we can get this guy. Okay. I don't think we hit him. Oh god, we did did we get him? Holy crap. Wow. I did not expect that to happen. 125 experience for that horn chameleon. Uh, three times damage for 12. Okay, good. I like it. All right, snap jaw, wooden buckler. Let's get the buckler. Let's auto equip it. And this might be a good place to stop. So I'm gonna find a spot over here. We're gonna go back to the stairs. These are the stairs up, by the way. And we're going to uh, take a break here. We're almost to the next level. We've got to 410 out of 505 experience. We're doing pretty good. Haven't had too many combats yet, but I've only had to run really once, and, and I don't like running. All right, hope you're enjoying this new series, uh, this Let's Play of Caves of Cud, custom-made character. No permadeath. We'll see how far we can go. Appreciate you watching. We'll catch you real soon.